Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here, and welcome to the second to last part of my let's play of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel just in time, finishing this LP off with two more parts just before Crash Bandicoot 4 launches. And we are launching into this beautiful track, one of the best tracks in the game in terms of, well actually, let's just say it's probably, let's just probably say it's the best track in all you know, to, to get boost because practically every single boost is a, I mean, I even say practically, I'm pretty sure it is legitimately. Yeah, look at that. Every single boost is a blue flame and ultimate, ult, ultra ultimate, super special, expialidocious uh, blue flame. So basically you are able to, yeah, really, if you want, you're able to get a pretty awesome time. Now me, Getting the, look at that, missing that, being an idiot. Me being able to get platinum in this is, even though I'm playing absolutely abysmally here, it's actually almost certain that I will get the platinum time. Because the platinum time is just ridiculous, it's like ridiculously easy for some reason uh, on this level, even though the whole thing is based around, you know, using the blue flame. So you'd think that maybe it would be a lot harder, but I don't know, I'm just, yeah. That trick there where you like hop around, I might try it in the third lap, but I mean, I'm just not good enough at it. I know, I have seen my good friend Brandon Black, the pro wrestler, who was in the previous part of the commentary. I've seen him do it fairly seamlessly at his house, while, again, as I, I love to point out, while intoxicated, so that's kind of, that, that does objectively make it more impressive. Now we've got Chicken Stew up here. One thing I do love about Sly Coliseum and Turbo Track is the fact that the environments actually look totally different, you know, to one another. Uh, in the original game, you know, Sly Colts and Turbo Track, they base basically looked like the exact same track. In this, you see that here we got like more of a daytime look. It's basically like a, a cleansed, sanitized version of Tiny Arena. However, how, um, however, with uh, with the other level, with Sly Coliseum, you'll notice that it's gonna be, it's like, it's all dark. So this one has like chicken stew up there, hanging out, having fun, having a good, having a good day. In the words of AJ Styles doing a Ric Flair impression from the Talking Shop podcast back in the day. There we go, look at that. There is my beautiful, well, I'm, I'm I saying Papu Papu's beautiful or am I saying that the relic is beautiful? That is a question that you never know the answer to. There you go. Black Cat Pura, very cool. Can't believe it took me this long to up and lock him. Actually, this has been recorded for a while, but um, okay. Let's head on off to the balloonist, as they'd say. Here we go. And yeah, so then we have this track here, which is amazingly all dark and kind of, yeah, just it's just got a different, not, um, you know, what's the, isn't there like ambience and ambiance is like actually two, like ambiance with an A, isn't it like a different meaning? But it's like got this beautiful, I don't know, it's really, I don't know, it's just cool. And everyone loves all the dancing guys up there, like all the different characters, like the giant Nitro Squad and, and Komodo Mo, Komodo Joe, all that. Like, I just, yeah, I love it. This is Sly Coliseum and yeah, I don't know what I actually prefer, like aesthetically. Um, yeah, I actually... Yeah, I actually don't know what I prefer. I think I, I don't know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to deliberate and make this decision live in the LP. But yeah, I mean, well, actually, I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave the floor to you guys. What are your favourite levels, actually? Uh, like out of the two here, what do you prefer and why? And why? Got a giant cup up there. Actually, no. You know what? I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to edge it out. I'm gonna have to edge it out with this level, just because I think the dark tone of it just looks cooler it feels a bit more like not out there but just yeah it's just i think it's just better i don't, th I don't think i really need a, a massive reason for it but as we wrap up this lp i mean it's it's taken it's taken it's a certain time it has been enjoyable like overall the whole vibe of crash team racing nitro field you know even revisiting it all these months later i know that obviously the crowd who played it like some people don't play it as much anymore obviously you know it naturally has a life cycle there are no more updates 
I think it had a really good run, and I think that people will be playing this game for years to come, unless, of course, we get a sequel, which has been something that's been sort of talked about, not rumoured with any credibility. Like, it's not like we've heard any reports, oh, yeah, they're going to be doing a second one, but I think there's sort of generally that kind of impression that, hmm, maybe you could get something else, or maybe you could get a download pack. I mean, the question is remains, like, with Crash 4, would you add the levels like that? You know, would you add more as DLC, like bring it all back to people play it again, or do you just make an entirely new game? Now, the more greedy side of commun communism, communism, no, not communism, consumerism, capitalism would say, yeah, just make a whole new game, make a charger, and basically put the same engine in and just do this, and then you have to have both. So that that would be there you go, relic collector. That would be the the logic within you know an industry that's all about making money, but. I don't know, almost part of me thinks it'd be good to just upload this game. Even if it had to be paid DLC, we added like 20 new tracks. I think people would pay $20, $30 for like, you know, new tracks. Like actual significantly, you know, new tracks. Not just the, the Grand Prix ones, but like literally, you know, 10 to 15, 20-ish. Maybe less. Maybe even 12 would be good. So you're back and you've gathered all my time relics. I'm impressed. Well. It's about time I taught you a real lesson in speed. This race is for keeps. There we go. This is the final one. And this is the Relic Sapphire, which I'm pretty... Didn't we already have that one? Because... No, I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.